to science. So I'm going to read another book. This book is about a very special little character just like you. Only this character is brown and his name is George. Do you know who I'm talking about? I'm talking about Curious George. He's a very special little monkey just like you're a very special little boy. So this one is called Curious George Goes to School. It was open house at George's school. So the man with a yellow hat had come to school with George. So a big sign up here that says welcome. And there's the man with the yellow hat and George going into the school. I want to speak to your teacher, the man said. Wait for me, George, and don't get into trouble. The man with the yellow hat always says don't get into trouble. And guess what Curious George does? He always gets into trouble. This room right here says art room. George was standing in front of the art room. He opened the door and peeked in. Mr. Williams, the art teacher, was cleaning up. Hello, George, he said. My students will be coming by with their parents today to show them their work. The walls of the art room were covered with the students' paintings. See all the paintings up here? The students did that. There were paintings of dancers and farmers and racing car drivers and ice skaters. On one wall was a chart with the names of all the children. So we have David and Susan and Rick and Alan and Alice and Donald. Each name had a star beside it, except for Alice's name. See, there's no star. Poor Alice, said Mr. Williams. She said she left her painting on my desk, but I can't find it. Here, George, why don't you paint a picture while you wait for your friend? So George began to paint. What do you think he's gonna paint? Keep painting, George, said Mr. Williams. I'll be right back. And off he went. George kept painting, but it was starting to get very warm in the room. Uh-oh, what's he gonna do? On a nearby table sat a big fan. That would cool him off. George turned it on. But as soon as he did... The fan blew the paintings off the walls and all over the room. George, cried Mr. Williams, running into the room. Look what you've done. Look at all the paintings are all over. Mr. Williams turned off the fan. You'd better help me clean up, George, he said. So George picked up the papers off the floor. Some were under Mr. Williams' desk. One was stuck between the desk and the wall over here. When George pulled it out, it was covered with dust, as if it had been there for a long time. It was a painting of a little girl riding a horse. That's Alice's missing painting, said Mr. Williams. Now I can give Alice a star. When the paintings were all hanging on the walls again, the students and their parents arrived. So there's a man with a yellow hat looking at the paintings, and here's George and all of the students. There was Alice's painting, and there was George's right beside it. Here's George's. He drew a palm tree. Now Alice's name had a gold star next to it. Thank you for finding my painting, George, said Alice. I like your painting, too. You should have a gold star. I agree, said Mr. Williams, and he gave George a big gold star. And that's the end. I really like Curious George, don't you? He always has the best adventures.
Goodbye.